in PUC, uh, Oracle has provided seeded geography structure. Almost uh, countries, all the countries, they have geography structure, seeded geography structure. But here, you have to enable whatever you need, geocoding, your address cleaning, uh, the structures, hierarchy. So everything you have to enable here. So just if you enter into United States, you can see here, primary and alternative code, the country code is USA, country type is uh, ISO country code, American English. So all the information is there. For each country, you will get this information. Sir, generally we use the seeded ones or uh, do we need to import a user? You have to, you have to enable actually all this hierarchy, everything. You have to enable this actually. If you, this, I clicked on hierarchy. So how the address, United States, how the address structure uh, is defined actually. If you see here, United States, we have these countries, states. Okay, and under country, we have states. And under state, we have, we have council or something. Yeah, these are all uh, county. Yeah. So under state, we have, we have county. Count, under county, we have city. Okay. These are city. Under city, we have postal code. You can see, right? These are all postal code. Yes. This is the last last part. Okay, so this is called geography hierarchy, or this geography hierarchy is useful when you are defining your customer address. When you your tax calculation depends on geography, this is very important. Very very important, specifically. Uh, for USA, this uh, because in, in USA they have tax code or tax at every level, like country level, state level, county level, and uh, city level. They have different different tax on different geographic components. That's why this validation is very important. Sometimes what happens? This validation is almost correct because it is uh, a seeded one. But here you can see here the name of the name data provider, Vertex. Vertex means Vertex is a tax engine. Vertex is a tax engine who provides, maintains all these locations used to be used for the tax calculation. So most people, most, most companies in USA, they use the Vertex as a third party tax engine because they maintain all the geography in a systematic way. Uh, save and close. So that's why it's very important that you maintain the geography. For example, let me go to India. So validation defined. What is the validation? Validation means address validation and tax validation. Okay. Address style. What should be your address style? United States address format. Tax address format. Which one you want to use? Okay. And geography mapping and validation. You cannot uh, like uh, with your own uh, decision change anything here because it's the standard address structure for USA. Similarly for Canada it will be different. From India, it will be different. And here they are mentioning, do you want to use this address structure as your tax point of view? Okay. But, uh, if we enable tax validation here, uh, if if we uh, implement tax uh, calculation, so will it uh, take from this geography, sir, based on the yeah. location? You, yeah, not tax. Basically, yeah, tax means state level if some tax is enabled if you enable this tax validation then it will take 
that tax. So tax validation means whenever there is a location based tax is enabled, specifically not every country. In USA, mostly you will see uh, multiple tax based on locations, different locations like city tax, county tax, state tax, and postal tax. So in this case, it's very important to enable this tax validation and geography validation. So, in so some, what is the purpose of this uh, tax validation, sir? Uh, in case of uh, applying 80% tax on uh, Los Angeles, particular city, so mm -hmm. how this will help us? So based on this address, if you don't validate this address, suppose how the geography will come? Geography will be, come based on the customer address or supplier address, right? So yes. if you don't uh, validate your address, you don't know what is the address and if, if it's an incorrect address, then how will validate? So when you are defining a customer address or supplier address, if you don't make it validate the address, geography validation and tax validation, then it can be wrong. If it is wrong, then tax will not be calculated. For example, there is no state enabled for tax validations. So if the state code is wrong or postal code is wrong, then it will not calculate the correct tax. That's the law. Understood, sir. So yeah. in case of USA, if we enter a tax amount, uh, that will validate with the, this location. Yeah, it yeah. will calculate Correct. tax. Exactly. So so in case of India, will... Yeah, validate all the components like state, country, city, and postal code, both. So that's why this is, you don't need to do anything. Just you have to check box. That sometimes this uh, tax validation and geography validation is not checked. Uh, in some countries. So if you need that validation, it is not compulsory. But in case of uh, certain countries, when the tax mostly depends on uh, geography, a uh, location, you have to validate this. For example, let me show India. India also, so this geocoding, this geocoding is a uh, kind of uh, tracking the location of the customer and supplier location address. So this geocoding also by CDED, Oracle has provided the CDED functionality, nothing to do. So every location, you will get some geocoding option. Geocoding, if you enable this, it's not enabled, okay? So you have to enable it. If you click it, it will be enabled. Once it is enabled, uh, this geocode will be automatically generated from Oracle. Hierarchy. Here, let us see the India, what is the hierarchy. Sir, I have one question over here. So, in case of... Uh... Uh, it is uh, showing as Andhra Pradesh, but it is having uh, the mutual say, mutual districts. So, in this case, how do we do the configuration? Sir? Means if you select Andhra Pradesh. Ah, uh, Andhra Pradesh. Is, uh, uh, see, Andhra under Andhra Pradesh, we have all this city, right? We don't have city based tax, so we don't need city address validation, right? We have tax. Uh, we have two three taxes, right? Basically, in India, there is no location-based tax. India, we have uh, GST based on uh, product, right? We have central GST, we have state GST, and government has fixed. What is the GST rate for uh, which product, right? Yeah, yes, sir. So, it will not change. If you, in Andhra Pradesh, if you go to purchase something from different city, the state GST will be remain same, right? Similarly, central GST, any countries, sorry, any state you go, the central GST will be remain same, right? 9%, 18% based on the product. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, if if we have a uh, new districts in the state, uh, that, that won't that be, be added. Uh, you have to add this. 
if it is not there we have to add this okay so we, uh, that don't impact the uh, state level uh, tax right sir no no state level tax whatever is there you have to define so basically for india there is uh, indian localization okay every country not the, specifically this tax part oracle has provided localization option because we have uh, tax tds we have tcs pan number like that right so oracle has provided yes. in bsl so if you go there is a separate localization patch is there so if you want to use the india gst india gst patch is available it's okay. a application patch okay. separately we have to apply so that so the, but this, sometimes the standard tax fusion tax may not be uh, like completely uh, good or completely it will satisfy the indian point of view what are the tax required if you go to validation it is also validated but it's not required by default it will always be this uh, enable list of value geography validation tax validation it will be an but you can sir what is the geography validation control sir last point mm -hmm. geography validation means uh, it will validate the structure of this country how this this like in usa in india there is no county right state city postal code there is no county but in yes, uh, india we have only state city postal code to so like that Uh, under uh, under this we have one more uh, thing sir uh, which is validation control at country level one point is there uh, in a yes. in a last uh, in down uh -huh. uh, yeah yes sir this one so here what if you run that program if some geography is wrong if you want to if it give a error message or it will skip that uh, valid even if it is not not valid it will give you no validation message that we are accepting whatever is there in this way you can control if you run that okay. yeah if it is not matches with the geography validation also if we set error it will error or else it will take the ah uh, it will take valid, a no validation record yeah okay so yeah so if you uh, the program is So after doing all this structure, what you can do, you can run that program actually to hundred percent sure that all this geography structure for all the countries are correct or not. So what is this? I think you got one uh, certification question, right? Yeah, mostly two questions, sir. One is related to that error one, and uh, one is related to this validation. Hmm. But this program in name is G U. Many validate address against master reference geography data. That is an program. Manage US geography reference table. So there are a lot of programs actually. But mostly you have to run that uh, complete for uh, all the locations. That this program you can run geography validation program. Okay, so verifies whether the geography element of an address, such as state, city, postal code, are valid using the master reference geography data. Also stores the geography name referencing information for the address. Sometimes what happens, user will go and uh, create the geography. There is a spelling mistake. So, for Andhra Pradesh, you will do the mistake of uh, while uh, creating that uh, state name. There will be a small spelling mistake. So in this case, it will not take. But this there is a Oracle has provided one geography master reference data. So that is the master data. It is available stored in the Oracle table. 
if you create something manually always this program will go and look into that master data if the andhra pradesh what is the spelling of if you have state you know there is a state telangana but yeah yes sir instead of telangana you mentioned t a g t e l n some small error or a spelling mistake you got in this case it will not able to validate the data yeah if it said to error if it is a spelling spelling mistake in telangana so it will not consider that address consider it will accept that uh, but again it will create problem actually in tax validation so this program related to that uh, last point only right sir which is a error or no validation right right 